Here's another little effect that I, um, is for 2010, is the rocking tombstone. And, let me see if I can get a, nope, can't get a wider view, so I'll have to try this to get the view. Well, you got a, you got a good, um, idea of it. Now, we'll go and run the road back and see who, what, and why I did it this way. Okay, there's your, there's your mechanism. Basically, it's just a crank motor with a 6 RPM motor with a crank on it. Might be, might be a little faster than a 6, uh, to a 12, I think, with the arm. Now, the reason I put this piece of wood there and on this side is to support the tombstone with that big 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 long bolt in there the reason I do the reason I did that is because if you don't do that it'll eventually go right up through the tombstone and I wish I could tell you there was a formula to figuring out arm links and rocker links and stuff but as you see on the all these little holes right here it's by trial and error that's it. And I had another design. You can see that right there. That was another design. Did not work. So I finally ended up doing it like this. And I think it works pretty well. So that gives you an idea what um, if you might want to attempt this project yourself of how to do how to do it, how I did it. It seems to work seems to work fairly well. I really can't tell you any any I can give you the dimensions and and um, do, do it that way but as far as formulas and stuff nope sorry can't help you there <laughs> going right in front again and of course all of this right here will be covered up with a um, base so you won't see any of that or the base uh, some sort of foam base that goes to about right here to about right here to hide all the um, mechanisms and with skull hadn't made up a tent hadn't made up an epitaph yet so and i'm not gonna say it rocking and rolling or anything like that well i might see y'all